to talk a little bit about my new learning placemats. So these are the little placemats that I was talking about um, a few weeks ago, I think, on Facebook. So these are the two that I have for my toddlers. And then these, these are heavily used. heavily used. I've had these for years for my older kids. This one is like the periodic table and then like um, minerals and stuff. But these are my newer ones because I actually haven't, um, never did that as you can see, these are falling apart now. So I probably have to do those over. And I'm doing some with like addition, multiplication, subtraction, Pythagoras theorem, but it takes a while. These have taken me, I would say about four weeks because I would spend probably about a half an hour or an hour on them like during lunch hour and stuff um, just go and sit and do them because each of these are little graphics and then I had to do like the text and create each square and then go ahead and compile it until I got this so like we have B for ball, broom, C for cat, carrot and whatever so when the kids are sitting down like when they're waiting on me to finish cooking dinner or cooking breakfast and are waiting to get served then when they're sitting then they can actually be actually be learning so these are for my two-year-old and my just turned four-year-old so this is the other side now where I did the numbers and I did them up to 20 because I want these placemats to be able you know to be useful to them as they grow so and then I had all of this blank space on the side here after I did it up to 20 and I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead and just fill it in with some of the common manners that we want our kids to know. And then I put a little moon and the little sun and the little cloud. So that this is just one of the quick and easy ways that I try to um, try to teach the kids because like these days my time is stretched so much. So they can just choose like if they want to do the letters side and then having their names on the bottom of each of their own placemats means that they can start getting familiar with what their names look like and what letters are in their names and then I did the shapes here so that they can get used to the shape so 11 blue circles and then they can count the circles and then they can also get familiar with the colors so these are really really multi-purpose placemats and that's what I wanted to do because I really don't get to sit down with my kids my younger kids now the way that i used to with my older kids to go through books and all that they still have all of their workbooks and we still get to do them but not as frequently as i'd want to to be honest so this just fills in those gap times when you know they can work together the older kids can work together with them so i really really love love how these projects turned out so i'm really proud of them